Andy Murray is expected to retire this year Andy Murray will reach the milestone of his 1000th ATP match on Tuesday while admitting he still does not know how many more he will play. The Scot takes on Aussie Alexei Popperin in the first round of the Cinch Championships at Queen's Club, the West London venue where he won his first tour-level match as a teenager back in 2005. But Murray, now 37, has yet to confirm where and when he will play his last. In February, the former world number one announced he will, likely, not keep playing, past this summer, with Wimbledon and the Olympics the favorite locations for his final farewell. But before the first match of his probable last British grass court season, Murray is still not ready to commit to a definite date. A lot of it is based on results and physically how I am feeling as well, he said. The All England Club said last week that they had plans to honor the double Wimbledon champion at the championships. If he confirms he will retire. In 2019, the Australian Open played a video montage of tributes to Murray after his first round loss and he is still playing with a metal hip and other nagging injuries. Rafa Nadal is in a similar quandary. The 14-time French Open champion did not want to be honored at Roland Garros last month and this weekend hinted he wants to keep going. Murray gave an insight into his inner turmoil as he enters, maybe, the last few weeks of his career. And how the triple Grand Slam champion doesn't want it to end. In lots of careers, retirement is something that you celebrate, he told the BBC. People really look forward to it. That is not something that I feel, I still love playing tennis. But ultimately, if physically you are not able to play the level that you want or your results are not as you wish, those things factor into the decision. See a little bit how the next few weeks go and see what happens. Murray has slipped down to world number 129 after winning only 5 matches in 11 events in an injury hit season. But after changing rackets before the French Open, his work ethic remains the same. He was out on court 7 at Queen's Club for 2 hours with his team yesterday and hit for an hour with Carlos Alcaraz.